Hello friends, welcome back to Cool IT Help. In this tutorial session, we will see how to enable a sticky scroll in Visual Studio Code. Also, we will see what is the use of a sticky scroll and how does it help us in day-to-day -day coding. So, let's understand about the sticky scroll first. So, sticky scroll shows the starting line of the currently visible nested scope at the top of the editor it means wherever you are working suppose you are jumping inside a method and that method is very lengthy then this will pick the first line of you the method and it will display on the top and the rest of the portion will be scrollable so whenever you want to jump back you can simply click the top of line of that method and that complete portion will be visible i will show you everything here by a demo let's understand how to enable this setting so we have to simply go to the file then preferences and then we will see the settings there we will enable this thing okay fine let me open the visual studio code so here we have the visual studio code and we have one demo java file so with the help of this damn java file i will show you the use of the sticky scroll right so first we have to enable so we have to go inside the file preferences and then we will search inside the settings okay let's do it file menu then come to downside preferences then click here settings okay once the setting window will appear at the search box type sticky scroll okay and then you will see results on the right hand side when you come downside you will see one option editor sticky scroll enabled means this time checkbox is unchecked and this feature is disabled when you check this this feature will be enabled okay instantly this feature is enabled now we will see this feature here in this class file suppose you have any java class file or any other file which is very lengthy and have methods sub methods classes right when you scroll you can see this will automatically pick up the first very first line of the class then very first line of the method and this will show you that first line as a reference and whenever you want to jump back you want to see the whole method simply click to the reference line okay suppose if we talk about this static method complex number sum and suppose this method has 50 lines 80 lines or 90 lines or more then this feature will be useful when you want to scroll inside this method right so the first line will be shown here at line number 13 as a reference right correct and the rest of the method will be scrollable so you can simply move inside the method easily and whenever you want to see the complete method simply click to the this line like this and the whole method will appear in front of you and you will jump back to the very initial line of the method so it doesn't matter this feature will take care how many methods you have and you are keep scrolling and this keeps help you by showing the very first line of the method as a reference so sticky scroll is the useful thing in in day-to-day -day coding scenarios i hope you guys found this tutorial relevant and useful please hit the like button and please subscribe to learn more and for now thanks for watching cool it help